In this video, I'm teaching you three exercises that will help you level up your strumming on ukulele. Learn these to stop strumming the same old things and start creating something new. Let's get into it. When I was first learning to strum, I was told to just feel it. But what I discovered much later was that you actually can't feel the rhythm if you don't know what the rhythm is, and I certainly didn't when I was first starting. It's like if you were traveling to a foreign country where you don't speak the language at all, and I suggested to you to just feel it out. No, you probably wouldn't do that. Chances are you would buy a vocab book or something like that and practice some phrases before your trip. Likewise, to get a feel for rhythm on your ukulele, you have to have a frame of reference. And the way you do that is by building what I like to call a strumming vocabulary. If you've developed your strumming vocab, then the next time you go to play a song, you'll be like, wait a minute, I know what I should play in this situation. I've practiced this phrase before. I speak the language. In other words, you can just feel it out. But that starts with practicing these super important exercises. So let's look at the first one. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and a one. Two, and three, four, and a one. For this first exercise, you improve your sense of rhythm by practicing the most common, most important note lengths found in strumming patterns, which are quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes. So for the first beat, count out loud by saying one and strum down, which is a simple quarter note. One. For the second beat, play two consecutive eighth notes by strumming down and up, where you count out loud two and. So far we have one, two and, or down, down, up. Next, on the third beat, play another quarter note down strum. One, two, and three. Then for the fourth beat, this is where it gets fun. You strum consecutive 16th notes by strumming down up, down up, where you count out loud four e and a, just like this. One, two, and three, four e and a. When you put it all together, the strumming exercise sounds like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four e and a one. Two and three, four e and a one. Two and three, four e and a one. Two and three, four e and a. By practicing a mix of quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes, you improve your feeling for rhythm and ability to add variety with the most popular note lengths. All right, let's move to the second strumming exercise you need to practice. This one is really going to help you improve your feeling for the offbeat and rhythm. So what's the offbeat? The offbeat is known as the and of the beat. So take a listen to how this sounds. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four, and 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 one. To play this exercise, first play a quarter note down strum on the first beat. One. Then play eighth note down and up strums on the second beat where you count out loud two and. So just like this. One, two and. All right, pretty standard rhythm so far, but this is where it gets fun. For beats three and four, strum and up strum on the end of the beat with no down strums. So something like this. One, two and three and four and. By doing this, you work on improving your feeling for the offbeat. So you're going to want to practice playing this pattern really slowly at first, just like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four, and one. Two, and three, and four, and one. Two, and three, and four, and one. Two, and three, and four. And When you get more comfortable, you can speed it up, but continue to practice counting out loud so you can be sure you're locking in your up strums to the end of the beat. This is super important. One, two, three. 
three, four, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. All right, great job so far. And if you want, you can get a PDF worksheet summarizing each of these exercises on one page so you can work on these in your own practice. Just click the link in the description and I'll send you the worksheet right to your inbox. Okay, now let's take a look at the third and final exercise, which sounds like this. One, two, and three, four, and 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 one. This is a fun exercise that improves your feeling for creating space in a rhythm. And what do I mean by that? Well, in rhythm, you can create a lot of feeling not only by what you strum, but also by what you don't strum. So here's how this exercise goes. For beat one, you're gonna strum down, and then for beat two, strum down and up, just like so. One, two, and. For beat three, instead of strumming, take your strumming hand and mute or quiet the strings to perform a musical rest for beat three, just like this. One, two, and three. All I'm doing there is taking my strumming hand and pressing down on all four strings to stop them from ringing out right exactly on beat three. Then for beat four, strum down and up. One, two, and three, four, and. Now this exercise can be deceptively challenging because there's some coordination happening between strumming the strings and muting the strings. This challenge is actually really good though for your brain and gets you not only thinking about rhythm differently, but feeling it differently. Here's what this is gonna sound like when you play it slowly. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one. Two, and three, four, and one. And when you get comfortable with that, you can begin to speed it up, but again, make sure you count out loud and you especially focus on muting the strings right on the third beat. So take a listen. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. Like I said before, get that worksheet in the description so you have these exercises to return to in your own practice. Practicing these for just five to 10 minutes per day helps you build the skill of feeling the rhythm. With consistent effort, you'll start to have new creative ideas when you approach strumming a song because you'll know how to feel the rhythm before you even do it. By the way, you can absolutely use these exercises as strumming patterns for songs, especially those counted in four. So my extra challenge would be to write out some chord progressions that you can practice switching between for each of these exercises. If you have any questions, post a comment below. I'm also really curious to know which exercise was the most challenging for you. Let me know in the comments. I hope this gave you some new ideas. The feeling of rhythm in music is something you can definitely develop with consistent effort. Thanks for watching, and for more lessons, be sure to head over to my website at ukuleletricks.com. I'll see you next time.